Best of Bruce Bliss Review Rants 2014-2015. And I skipped up a little bit because of the payback review. <coughs> did that one uh, a long time ago. I remember seeing that. And he was hot, boy. Oh, uh, I forgot uh, if that was Wyatt. Who that? No, it wasn't Wyatt, was it? I can't remember, but he was hot as hell about uh about this 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 bum with the small hat. So I skipped up a little bit. Let's see. What's this one I didn't see here. Let's see what this is. That I am absolutely fucking frustrated right now because I mean it, it literally why are, why are all these WWE fucking kiss asses out there they, they so desperately want the product to be something that it's not and I'm not talking about the whole show we're gonna go through the whole fucking show in a minute oh come on boots uh, you gotta give credit to Cena. He had a great match. Great match, my fucking ass! <laughs> my fucking ass! <laughs> you know, I'd put myself out like this. Uh, Raw is better without John Cena. Garbage. Well, guess what? Garbage! It's never gonna be fucking better without Cena because this motherfucker doesn't give up. Mm. Doesn't give up. Remember the idiot? When he remember this sign? Tag me. And we all got a good laugh over this sign. Tag and, and I got the green screen on, so you can't really see it well. Tag me in. No, tag him out. Tag him out. If I ever come on here and kiss Cena's ass, ever. If I ever come on here and kiss his ass, that's not gonna you happen. You can ask for this. That's not gonna happen. You can ask for my fucking man card because I will absolutely turn it in because I would be so full of shit. And you know what? If someone likes Cena, more power to him. But at the end of the day, I would be fucking full of shit to sit here and tell you that John Cena had a great match tonight. Great matches entail great wrestling. Did you guys see that fucking STF? Oi, oh, he, he used the ropes and uh, uh, looked like he's constipated sitting on a fucking toilet. Ah! Oh yeah, he's such a great wrestler. Name me a great move Hot that he here. did in that fucking match. Hot. And all the times that he broke fucking psychology. He's, a, he's taking all of this... All of this damage, and then all of a sudden he just stops fucking selling. And that's great wrestling. And then these pro WWE ass lickers race to my shit. Come on, Blitz, you gotta give him credit. Fuck credit! And fuck Cena! Another young guy who gets pushed, and the only reason that Rusev got pushed was to be fed to John. You guys think that, uh, you know, they've actually moved away from Cena? Is that what people really think? He's still, Did you see tonight? Still there. Stairs. Same. You know, pyros. False finishing. How many times was that ref going to ask, do you quit? I mean, like, literally, a punch, do you quit? <sighs> What did they do that was so fucking great? Nothing! If I want to see a great match, I'll go watch RVD and Jerry fucking Lynn. If I want to see a great match, I'll go watch Masada Tanaka and Mike fucking Awesome! Fuck these bastards who keep sending me shit, and you gotta give him credit. You gotta give him credit. Well, why don't you go fuck Cena in his ass? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they'd like to do it. They like to bend him over, pull down the shorts, and start fucking going to town. Oh, hell. Hell no. And, and, and what it is... They do sweat his balls, though. They sweat his balls. see people like us... They sweat him. It's ridiculous. Who completely hate Cena, and they overcompensate. They over-fucking-compensate. 
And they come to us and they go, oh, you got to give them credit. Botches galore. Horrible psychology. Did you see the punches? Any match that he throws a five-knuckle shuffle should automatically be disqualified as being good. Looks like shit. But they overcompensate every fucking time because they so desperately want to believe that John Cena's good. What makes John Cena better than the British Bulldog? What makes John Cena better than the fucking Dynamite Kid? What makes John Cena better than RVD? No, I don't know about that. What makes John Cena better than Edge? We could go on and on and on and on and on. Talent-wise, CM Punk blows him out of the fucking water. And by the way, John Cena's not a fucking Marine. I'm so sick and fucking tired of him trying to act like a Marine. I salute. Mm. Fuck you. People believe it, too. They really believe it. They're not giving Cena fucking credit. This man's not in the service. Well, because he takes Flintstone vitamins and works out. <clears throat> the guy's functional athleticism is shit. Garbage. And all of these people always... I, don't want, I really don't want to throw names out there. And that's what these bastards do. They want to suck Cena's dick until it comes right off his balls. <laughs> Cena sucks. Name me some good moves that he did in the match. Tell me what's so great about it. Oh, they used Pyros? Why didn't they give that Py fucking shit to Cesaro? Pyro is not a finish. It's not a move. Why didn't they put that in the main event match? Pyro is not a because, move. Yes, Cena's not in the fucking main event. But guess what? They're still rolling out all the booking tricks for John. Well, you guys are going to fight in the crowd, and Cena, you're going to... By the way, he didn't even spear him through the barricade. He, like, runs at him and runs into him with his back. He's garbage! And these dumb bastards drive me insane! When they come to you, oh, come on, like a bunch of fucking seals. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Great match. Another young guy who I really don't fucking care about in Rusev, don't care. Other than the fact that it's the principle. And this guy ruins everything with this. Mm. That shovel business. Oh. Poor Rusev, I tell you. Not a big Rusev we'll fan, We'll talk more about still. Cena later. But just sitting here thinking about the fact that last year, this Jamok, ja ja Jamok, last year buried Bray fucking Wyatt. That was something. With his more talent in his wrestling boot than Cena does in his whole body. Cena buried him last year. And here's another guy oh, in Rusev you. getting buried. And Bray Wyatt was just getting started. As a youngster tonight, he was just getting started. Shirt. This was a, a shirt that they made in TNA for Hulk Hogan. And, you know, watching Hogan back in the day in Savage, we could sit here and talk. Uh, you, you guys know that uh, I think that the Hogan and Savage feud should have been longer. It should have spanned over multiple WrestleManias. It should have been the WWF's Ali and Frazier. But at the end of the day, even Hogan going over on Savage the way he did was justified in the sense that he was actually fucking popular. I, I can name two times in the last three years that I've seen a John Cena shirt in public. That's it. Back in the day, you saw Hogan shirts everywhere. He yep. was actually fucking popular. So on top of the fact that he sucks, it makes no fucking sense to keep shoving this guy down everybody's throat when he's not even popular and he's not even good. But come on, he's not in the main event. Fuck him. So frustrating. Mm. So fucking frustrating. 
It's been the same thing for how fucking long? What, what is the purpose to Cena winning anymore? Is he winning over fans because he wins scripted matches? No. So in his position, at his fucking age, he should be putting the younger guys over in wins for them if he's such a big star to give them more credibility. Yeah, he's had the belt enough and everything else. Look at Hulk. Let me give you a great example. Hulk Hogan putting over The Rock. Hulk Hogan putting over Brock Lesnar. Hulk Hogan yep. putting over Goldberg. Not necessarily completely clean, but putting him over. Hulk Hogan putting over The Warrior. Why doesn't Cena do that for younger guys? Hulk Hogan, if you take away The Rock's fucking movie career, Hulk Hogan was the biggest star of all fucking time. Put more asses in the seats in wrestling arenas than anybody else. And he actually put guys over. Well, Cena doesn't politic fucking bullshit. You mean after this long of being the top guy, he doesn't have a huge amount of say in his own creative? Are you fucking kidding me? Do, do I have stupid written on my forehead? <laughs> no. He could very well go to Vince and go, you know, Neville, Cesaro. He could start naming guys in the company that he thinks has talent. And he could lay his fucking talentless ass down for each and every one of them. If he's this big star and it's going to do him big favors. They always capitulate to the C Nation. Because in Vince's mind, if Cena loses clean, or if he loses a feud like this, and this feud isn't necessarily the point of my entire frustration. It's just another example of the problem of the past 10 years. But he, in Vince's mind, if Cena lays down, the C Nation's going to fucking give up on him. Hmm. But all the, all the rest of us wrestling fans who are fans of other wrestlers, we got to eat shit and like it. Hmm. It's bullshit. It is. Same old shit, and it stinks. I'm sorry, I hate to start the review with vitriol, but John Cena has killed professional wrestling in my world. Some people may think that's dramatic. In my world, he has. In my world, he has. The biggest dance in town has been held hostage by two talentless fucks in John Cena and Triple H for a long fucking oh, time. Don't get me started on that dirty if dog. If you guys watched the VIP overtime video we did this week with the news rumors, we went through an interview with the head WWE creative writer where he was talking about Triple H ripping up scripts if he wasn't going over. Do you think that story that Edge brought to the forefront of Cena rebooking that match with the Nexus where he fucking buries the guys is the only time that's happened? These guys have ruined it. When we do this charity, go back to Stephanie McMahon's tweet about philanthropy. That's what that is. Now, Triple H sucks, but he's way better than John Cena. And then, now you've got all these people calling John Cena shitty-ass, garbage-ass, trash-ass matches good. <laughs> This was good. What does he do that's so fucking good? What did he do in this match that was so fucking good? Name me the best move Cena did in this match. Go ahead, please. Indulge me. Well, he did an AA on Pyro. Fuck that. There are none. 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 There were no good moves. None. He sucks fucking cock. 
And then you have the dick professor, Michael Pohl, who's a flat out cum guzzling dick whistler <laughs> with his bag full of heat seeking dildos <laughs> kissing his fucking ass the whole match. Fuck John Cena. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck Triple H. Fucking, 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 <laughs> fucking. Boy, he's raising hell. I fucking hate him. We're in the same boat on that one because he's a pain in the ass. Can't stand him. This goes back to, oh, uh, let's go with Triple H. You got The Rock. You got Stone Fucking Cold. Let's go with Triple Fucking H's boring ass. Sucks as a fucking wrestler. Sucks, 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 he sucks. Hmm. Go back to the news and rumors video from this week and listen to the fucking quotes from the head writer of WWE. Triple H would get a script, he wouldn't even read it. I'm quoting this guy. He'd go, am I going over? If they said no, he'd rip up the script and the next day he had a script putting him over. Fuck him. He's a fucking egomaniac and he fucking ruined her. Oh shit. It's a stupid preview thing. <sighs> we'll stop it right there. Stop it right there then. But man, Bruce made a lot of points in there. Me and him are both right here. Especially with that damn that damn dirty dog Triple H. But, but, but Bruce though, man, look love to meet this guy because he he makes damn good points on wrestling. He knows his shit. We're probably the same, if not the same, age, close to the same age, something like that. But he knows his shit with wrestling, whether it be current or the old school. Bruce knows his shit. I'm, I'm telling you, he knows it. 